for a win when the players reunited at Bangalore five days later. The big team news was that Mohamed Azraddin was back at long last and Daryl Cullinan had passed fit for the visitors. Nanty Hayward was also back for South Africa and it was he who drew first blood, finding Jaffa's edge in the 11th over. Pollock quickly won an LBW decision against the new number three Ganguly and the change in order that had seen Dravid move up to open was confirmed as a failure when Cronier's tight line gave Badger his second catch. Worse was to follow. The two big names, Azraddin and Tendulkar, both went in four overs after lunch, victims of great fast bowling from Donald and Hayward. India's proud record hung on tenderhooks. Anil Kumble resisted for over two hours to register 36 not out, but the final total of 158 looked wholly inadequate. Tendulkar's response with five overs to the close was to give his new ball to his leg spinner, a tactic that had recently paid off handsomely against New Zealand at Kanpur. Gibbs followed the script and South Africa ended play at 11 for one. The script had to be hastily rewritten though after day two. It took another 61 overs to prize out another wicket and by then the visitors had the lead. Gary Kirsten again played well, showing why he averages in the mid 60s on the subcontinent pitches. That, despite his inconsistent form at home, was no real surprise. What truly rocked the Indians, who were fielding three spinners to the visitors' one, was the batting of night watchman Nicky Bouillet. If anything, he outplayed his senior partner, making 85 runs from 198 balls. Both left-handers finally succumbed to a tireless Kumble, but South Africa sensed their chance and went for the jugular. Cullinan led the way with a free-flowing 50, including five fours and a huge six. Huge six, down she comes. Oh, what a big hit. Before the two Ks, Callis and Klusner demolished any lingering Indian hopes with a stand of 164. Boys hit that one. This is going all the way. It's a biggie over the top. When Klusner hits them, they stay hit. Well, that's well hit. Like a rocket. Always hit that one. That one's going down towards square leg over the top for six. That's it! Steps out. He's played it in there. Sort of Gangli is coming after it, but it's gone all the way. The only That's disappointment it. for South Africa was that no batsman made a century. After batting together for 64 overs, both men fell in the 90s and within nine balls of each other. The eventual total of 479 was 321 to the good, and India were shattered. Bouillet, high in confidence after his innings, removed Dravid and Jaffa to simple slip catches. In the air, and that's out. That's out. That's another one. And Ganguly was dismissed padding up, which confounded those critics who suggested South Africa would be lost in India without Paul Adams. Any final thoughts of a heroic rear guard were snuffed out when Tendulkar's last innings as the current captain ended with a loose stroke at a wide ball from Donald. Azradin still had a point to prove, however, and although in a forlorn cause, he played magnificently. He'd reached 73 by the end of day four, and India, now at 196 for five, had recovered some respectability. Down the wicket he goes, forget the single, it's going all the way, take six. Take six. On the final morning, Azza launched an uninhibited assault on Boyer, which hastened his progress to his 22nd hundred in tests. Over the top, a great hit. That's six. It was all over too soon, unfortunately, as Pollock got his man in the leg trap. Ten runs later, the match was over. Mongier was again unfit, and this time couldn't even make it to the crease, so Donald had the satisfaction of sealing India's fifth successive test defeat with his second wicket. Boyer was the clear man of the match, and Callis's all-round contribution earned him the series award. India had finally been toppled at home, and South Africa could now claim to have won their last away series against all three subcontinent sides. Not even Australia have that record to boast. The one-day matches awaited, and therein lay more sinister offerings. And some good bowling by South Africa. It's good night from Bangalore.